Hello everyone and good morning and welcome back to Sue Crafting! So we are in the kitchen at our brand new expanded kitchen table, sitting down to breakfast with Primrose and Carlos. Primrose, are you enjoying your meal? She seems to be enjoying her meal. She really wants to be putting down torches. I don't know, should we bring her today? Maybe we'll bring her on our little adventure today, you guys, because I think she would really enjoy it. You know what, I think we will bring her today. Primrose, I have good news, darling. We are going to be, <laughs> yeah, we are going to be bringing you good news, a good day, out on our adventure today to look for a tiger. Whoops, oh my goodness, I'm standing on my food. Well, we don't want to be doing that, but yeah, so as you guys can see, we are now boasting a brand new table here in the kitchen. I really, really love it. It's looking good. It is a four by four table so that we can, we can fit the expanding family, and Carlos, as usual, is hanging out next to his little fruit bowl. I actually put a plate over there at first, and I was like, mm, you know, no, that's Carlos's spot. He kind of needs some fruit to eat. He and Primrose just get along so well. I'm thinking about building Primrose a little uh, branch extension of my treehouse, adding another branch onto the house so that she can have her own little room. I will admit I am I'm trying to treat her like a professional, you know, I try to treat her like an intern, but oh, she's just so cute and I take her under my little wings, like no pun intended, Carlos. I guess you take her under your wing more than I, like quite literally, but I just, I just, oh, I love her. Primrose, you can come today. You can come today. I'm pretty sure the adventures will be safe enough. All right. Ooh, yum, yum, yum. So there's our waffles, and I've still got some raisins left to eat. Uh, but I love that. So now we can have our meals here on the table, which is so exciting. Darling! Darling, there's going to be some waffles on the table if you want some. Where is he? I need to let him know. We're leaving. Darling, there you are. Looking over our wonderful... um flower field of chickens. Are you? Well, uh, all right, darling. I'm going to be headed out. We are off to gather up uh, some tigers today. Believe it or not, it is going to be tigers this time, not just plants. Though we will be gathering probably a lot of plants while we're out. <gasps> and we have mail! I forgot about that. I'm pretty sure I saw that we had mail yesterday. Darling, I'm going to check the mail. Oh, I really should see if he ever gets some packages too. It would be a good thing if like maybe we could get another desk and put it up in the second story. You know, I was thinking maybe the second story is where we could kind of put a branch off and then give Primrose a little room and a balcony. I don't know. Do you think she'd like that? Or would she be lonely? I worry she'd be lonely because she seems to enjoy being where all the action is down here. Hmm, I'll think about that. But let's go check the mail first thing early in the morning before we get ready for our big adventures. Oh, I'm so excited. Jude, good morning. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. You know, I know villagees. I'm very fluent in villagees, having raised many villager children. But it occurs to me lately, I just, I don't know how to communicate very well with Jude. So I wonder if you can learn, like, Enderling? Enderly? What would you call the Enderman language? The Enderperson language, Jude? Well, whatever it is, I would be very happy to start learning how to communicate. Would you call that a grunt or a grumble? A moan? A snort? What, how, what, what, what do Endermen do? Do they grumble? Do they groan? Do they snort? I'm not sure. They don't, hmm. Maybe it's just a different time of hmm, because the villagers all hmm, 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 all day long. So we'll figure that out. But all right, so let's check what mail we have. And it's flowers. Look at the beautiful lavender flowers. And are those like, wait, are those all filled safari nuts? Oh my gosh. <gasps> deer. There's so many deer and wild horses. Are you kidding me? And from Mara! Mara, what kind of present is this? Hello, Siri, my dear. I've started working on my new home in the lavender field, and I've come across a lot of the animals that I know you'll need for your own projects for the month of September. So here are a good number of deers for you, your white -tailed deer for your white-tailed deer exhibit, as well as a few horses for the meadow of horses. Let me know if any of your uh, of any other animals for your projects. I have a huge population of pigs in my area. <laughs> Love, Mara. Oh my goodness, you guys! Mara has gifted us with so many deer. We're not going to need to go get any deer at all for the deer exhibit at this rate. Oh my goodness, the white-tailed deer exhibit is going to need to be really big. Ah, oh, that almost makes me want to start like a little a little ranger park that we could do somewhere. And de she's definitely playing the animal ranger role up quite well. Oh, Mara, thank you so much. And these wild horses, we don't even know what type they are. It is going to be so exciting to have a proper place to open them up and see what wild horses are hiding inside of the little safari nets. Oh, I'm so excited, you guys. Oh my goodness, then there's more. 
There's glowstone dust and eggshells. Who's the mystery benefactor who gave us glowstone dust and eggshells? I do not know. But man, do I ever want to go around and give like more mail to all of our friends now. Oh. oh, that just gets me so excited. What would I even give Mara? Like maybe a special penguin thing? Is there a special penguin, penguiny thing? She is in the lavender fields. Maybe we could make her like bake her some special lavender muffins. Because we she did just give us some lavender. So like could we make her like some um maybe we could make her some like blueberry muffins. And like make them lavender blueberry muffins, maybe? Hmm? Hmm? There's an idea. So what should we give Mara, you guys? Man, I'm really gonna have to think about this. Ugh, I, I see. I think the, my problem is I sit here and I go, it has to be the perfect present. And then there's just like a long silence because I can't think of the absolute most perfect present in the world, Mara. Martha. <laughs> Martha, not Mara. The second. Darling! Darling, we got so many wild horses and we got so many pretty flowers. And I kind of want to put the pretty flowers up around the place, actually. You know, actually, I think I am going to spruce up our home a little bit with some of the flowers that Mara just gave us. So one momento. All right. I think I'm going to have to actually... Okay. Fat pick, if you don't mind assisting me a little bit, I'm going to swap out the flowers that are in these. Doo -doo -doo. Oh my goodness, there we go. That are inside of these carpenter's flower pots. So we're going to put it down. Then you tell it what you want the outside design of the flower to be. And we want it to be green granite. And then we say, now there's going to be grass inside. And now I want lavender. <gasps> it's so pretty. Oh, Persephone. Here, here. I know you've got a little bit of cat grass over here, Persephone, but I think you're going to really enjoy... Oh, this is actually emerald philodendrons. I think you're going... Ah, oh, dang it. Persephone, I think you're going to enjoy if I kind of... Okay, Persephone, I can't, I can't make that jump, Persephone. I'm sorry. Pardon me. I'm sorry, Persephone. I think you will enjoy having some fresh new plants kind of sprucing up our home from Mara. So that's going to be awesome. There we go. A little bit of that. A little bit of that. There you go. Something new and exciting and fresh to sniff at. Oh. It makes me want to have that little market. That's what it makes me want to do. All right, can I put any, I'm gonna, you know what? Let's hang the lavender from the ceiling up here. Let it dry and then we can mix it with some of the muffins later. That'll be a good idea. I don't know, I've never had, I've seen lavender scones. Are there scones? Could we make scones? Or biscotti? We should, there's scones. We should make scones and then rename them so that they're lavender oat scones and give them to Mara as a present because last week we went mining with her and we joked about scones and biscotti. I wonder if they have biscotti. Is that a thing? No way. Oh, it's a biscuit. I was going to be like, no way they have biscotti and like freak out. But no, it was just a biscuit. Bolts alarm, bolts alarm. All right, so these emerald philodendrons, I'm actually excited to see because they're going to be one of the jungle plants that we're going to be looking for today when we set off on our grand adventure off into the wilderness. Puppies, you guys are going to stay this time. I mean, darling, I should probably take at least one dog for security reasons, to be honest, especially if I'm bringing Primrose with us. I know Primrose. It's going to be so exciting. All right, then you come downstairs. And we're going to go down to the bottom story. And I've decided this is going to be one of my new throw everything into it junk drawers. So glowstone dust and the eggshells from our mystery benefactor. And don't worry, Pikmin Fern. I know the tragedy of Tarzan pricking himself to dust on these ore berries weighs heavily on us. But I will take care of that. Uh, if you guys weren't aware yesterday, unfortunately, poor Pikmin Fern had his buddy Tarzan who was that like daredevil pig who was living on the edge way over in um in the asian jungle forest area he got out of the enclosure somehow and pricked himself to death on those ore berries but we got his his pork uh remains which we have done many times with our wonderful wonderful uh, lab animals who have since passed away like for example professor cowplant the third is on her third regeneration of being cloned and martha the second is on her second regeneration of being cloned so we got tarzan's remains and now we have four possible pigus from Tarzan's remains, uh, which we will tend to in the future. And we also have Tarzan's heart, his heart of gold. And I just have a feeling maybe if we fiddle around with some of like the genetics that are hiding inside of there and his heart, and then we go and talk to Professor, or we, well, I don't know if Pigman Fern has earned a professor title yet, but if we talk to Pigman Fern, then maybe we'll be able to bring him back and maybe maybe it might even be able to be as a pig man so we'll have to see we'll have to see 
lots of questions here. Maybe we're finding the way to evolve the pigs, which would be kind of an exciting adventure. Hello, Experiment 911. Hello, Professor Cowplant III. We were just speaking of you. All right, so here's the new, the new cluster of animals. I think most of these animals have actually been given to us by Amara. It's kind of amazing. Talk about the pressure to like start getting, start getting more of our exhibits done. All right, wait, where are the deer going? Okay, deer to the left, wild horses to the right. So we've got six deer, seven deer, eight deer, nine deer, 10 deer. I don't think we're gonna be hurting for deer and five wild horses. Oh, that's fantastic. Professor Calflat III, I hope everything's going well down here with you. All right, good, 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 good. Yes, 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 very, very professional, very serious. We're being serious here. All right, and I'm gonna go back upstairs. Now, let's check really quickly. One second, security cats. How many empty safari nuts do I have available? Four? You're kidding me. I only have four empty safari nuts? Oh, that's not acceptable. Okay, so let's go to sleep. And in the morning, we're going to take our money from whatever money Martha has been collecting for us. Martha, you, you've dropped an egg again, my dear. All right, I'm gonna just casually, there we go, Martha. But yeah, we'll go and turn in our paycheck because we're gonna need, darling. All right, hey, Nightlock, all right. Good night, boys. In fact, can I turn the lamp off? I think I could, it doesn't, you can't really tell because I've got so much glowstone hiding in my leaves. Ah, there we go. But yeah, in the morning, we'll head over to the village of Light, trade with Amber the Banker. Yes, darling. Do you want me to pick anything up from the village? I know that there's actually nowhere to shop yet. It's just kind of, well, I'll get some pecans. I'll pick some pecans from the tree on my way to the village, darling. I guess there's not really anything for me to buy for him in the village yet. I feel kind of bad about that, you know? Because you, you want to be all like cute and romantic. Oops, I kind of need to leave the house with the money. You want to be all cute and romantic and be able to go and like take your goods to the market and get something fun for your your guy or your girl or whatever you're with and I, I can't I can bring home wild pecans at least one day we'll have more places built in the village of light but today is not that day today is the day we are going to run over do 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 I really should come over here and have a picnic lunch with my my sons one day junior and ash junior well junior we still need to resurrect Oh, that does weigh a little bit. Ah! Mystery arrow, what are you about? Oh my gosh, it changed directions. Did you see that? Did you see that? It changed directions. I don't even know. I don't even know. Well, let's go see Amber. So first we're going to go see Amber at the bank. So this is Zomberry Village. Got to make sure we, we... I should put signs up. Please do not let zombies in because that's very critical. I think it would be traumatizing for all of those villagers who used to be zombies to like be invaded by zombies again. All right, I know it was for Junior. I mean, he's still kind of, half of him is still dead and in our freezer. All right, well, we'll have to think about that another day. Amber, good morning, it's good to see you. I'm actually here to kind of swap out a lot of the money that I've been making. We've been saving up a lot of our paycheck, a lot of zookeeper experience, if you know what I mean. And I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna keep the emerald coins, actually, because I can trade those for emeralds. In fact, th this is what we're gonna do trade out i think 12 is a good number all right and then i'm gonna go get some dog food it's very good to see you amber did, or amber did you say anything just welcome to the village of light bank well i'll talk with you in the future amber i gotta say you are a pioneering woman being one of the only ones to be out here goodness goodness well we'll take care of that in the future also tall grass believe it or not tall grass is going to be one of the fascinating plants that we will be collecting today because tall grass is really great for the tigers to climb in those stripes actually help them to kind of blend into the tall grasses blend into their environment it is called disruptive camouflage we've talked about that a lot in previous series and seasons of zoo crafting you guys are turning into little zoo experts yourselves good morning james it's good to see you the dog treats smell good enough to eat but I'll be careful not to and let's get them some food so let's actually get some of the more chicken rice and blueberry let's get some uh, let's actually let's go with some duck sweet potato and cranberry and by the way I know James needs some help with more ideas for dog food varieties so if you guys have ideas for different types of dog food that he could sell then please let us know and I know James will be really appreciative to have some more well and I'll show off what varieties he does sell 
Because I know, yeah, I know Dooms. Three Paws Bakery. Oh, yeah, it's so cute. The chicken, rice, and blueberry. We've got duck, sweet potato, and cranberry. Pork, rice, and carrot. Pork and sweet pea. Pig's ears. Beef liver. Beef liver and, or beef and liver. Like, so this is like those dry little bits of beef liver. Excellent, cheap, like good, healthy training treat if you've got a dog that you're trying to train. A little bit fatty, so you want to use small amounts of it, but dried beef liver is pretty small little pieces and dogs go nuts over it. I used to recommend it for people who are training puppies all the time because puppies need positive reinforcement and consistency and routine. And then there is beef and liver. Uh, salmon, rice, and apple. There's a venison, apple, and spinach, ostrich, carrot, and sweet mash. And then we've got some different dog biscuits and training biscuits. And of course, we can always bring him things to trade with so that he will have more resources available. But we'll do that in the future, James. I know your sister needs to come and uh, join, the fa join the farm. Well, I guess it's kind of a little farm. Join the family. We'll be working on the Village of Light in the future because I miss all the villagers and all their stories and just seeing what will happen. <gasps> oh yeah, and the wild pecans! All right, I promised Darling I would pick some more wild pecans. Oh, what a cute little birdhouse. I forgot about those. We should put a little birdhouse up next to where um, our temperate forest ranger station is, our zookeeper station. Hello, sir. How are you today? Darian, how are you? Still looking for those empty bottles to trade for emeralds. Oh, he'll give you a yutsu. <laughs> One whole yutsu for an emerald. Wow, Darian, that's a little bit of a markup. I've kind of got a giant tree full of yutsus over in my yard, you know, sir. Um, he'll, oh, he'll also give you lime juice. And it looks like that's it. Well, Darian, I will talk to you later. I'm actually looking for Iverson to do some trades after I gather up these pecans. I could have sworn I normally get 12 pecans from this. Oh, well. But I am actually going to go talk to Iverson. If I can find him. Hello, villager. Iverson, is that you? Iver Iverson, there you are, my friend. All right. Well, I need to speak to you and grab a few more empty safari nuts, please. Oh, Iverson, please. You have two more. I, I have enough emeralds for two more safari nets. Can I please have a couple more reusables? Please? Oh, really? And acacia saplings? Or just time and patience? Okay, so... Oh, wait. Well, maybe we could do this. All right. Let's try this out, you guys. I do have a single use. Um... Hey, Iverson. All right. Normally, I pass up the mystery safari nets now because, as you know, Iverson, you tend to just give me, like, safari nets that have normal animals in them. But what if I take a couple of those mystery safari nets? Will you... Please? Please? Okay. What about one more mystery safari nut? I'm using up some perfectly good reusable or single use here. But I really need another reusable. All right. What do you think, Iverson? What do you think? What about you? Oh, wow. Okay, so you trade in heads and, and candles. Oh, that's charming. Um, Iverson, please. Uh, okay, that's fine. I'll respect the fact that maybe you just don't have enough materials to make more. All right, well, we've got six reusable safari nets to use, and I wasted a whole bunch of single use. No idea what they have in them. We'll have to save them for a surprise day because I definitely don't have... <laughs> I definitely don't have the reusable safari nets to stick them in if we like what pops out. I mean, it could be another ghast, too. We did have a ghast pop out of the mystery safari net once. That was a very exciting day. Hello, Martha. I'm afraid I spent most of the money that we normally have, but I did come back with emeralds and emerald coins. And geez, you know, I felt like we had this huge paycheck with all of that zookeeper experience, but it goes fast, doesn't it? Goodness gracious. All right, well, let's see. Um, I'm going to put these mystery safari nets. They're safe. I guess I should put them in the responsible place. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I nearly choked laughing. Ah, that's what I get. That's what I get for joking about being responsible. Oh, well, we'll have fun. We used to have a lot of fun with these mystery safari nets. I just wish they worked with all of the animals in the world, but whoever catches those mystery safari net animals only gets, like, your usual chickens, which there's nothing wrong with a good chicken. Uh, or they get, um, you know, they, they'll sometimes bring another animal around, and sometimes they'll bring a twilight forest animal around, but they just never manage to get, like, a creatures animal or a rare horse, things that would just be really exciting. All right, so let's put these pecans away. Got some nice little pecans right here. And we've got some dog food. 
Let's see, and Primrose is going to need us to have lots of sugar on us. So let's go ahead. Can I get a little stack of sugar? Yeah, we're going to have this little stack of sugar. Like so. Okay. And let's see, what else are we up to? Um, I'm going to eat my raisins. There we go. Oh, they're so cute. You can put three things on the dinner plate. So adorable. All right, and then let's see. What else? What else? Okay, we've got... Empty backpacks. Now we're checking our safari nets. I'm gonna grab, you know, if I only have six reusable safari nets, then I think I'm gonna leave the dogs home today because I need, I need at least one of those for Primrose and one of those for Sunflower and then four of those are available for other animals. So it might not be as big of an expedition day as I normally prefer. Oh yeah, we need to get our tools and everything out of here. Oh, I almost forgot about these guys. Hello. Oh, awesome. Our diamond sword is fixed. Our shovel is almost fixed. Glorious grafter is almost fixed. That is fantastic, you guys. I love that thing. All right, put the diamond pickaxe away. And let's put this away and this away and this away. And I think I get another pair of shears out. And let's see, I've got dog food that I can now leave for the dogs. Hello, bubbies. I've got more food for you. Let me go ahead and put it right over here. Oh, yeah, who's a good girl? Fine, good boy, Iris. Mwah. Good girl, Iris. I'm so glad we found you again. Thank you guys so much for letting me know where she ran off to. I get so worried when the dogs get, like, wandered off and misplaced. And I hate to say the word misplaced, but they really do get misplaced from time to time. Oh, it's a sad thing. And let's go ahead. And then for our adventure today, um, let's take some candied lemons for energy and to share with Primrose. And a foot long and strawberry juice. I'm gonna take this cookie Mara gave us and how about, I kinda want you Yutsu sandwiches. No, I want something, uh, I'm actually gonna go, oh, oh, we have more foot longs in here. Yay, okay, we should be good now. I was like, I want something a little healthier. And now I'm actually gonna bring some of the ice cream we made for the adventure. This should be plenty of food. We shouldn't get hungry whatsoever on our adventure. Should be totally fine. Carlos, you laid an egg right on her head, you silly, you silly dodo. All right, and let's put this away. And I think we are about ready to go. So let's go take a quick snooze so that we can put the sun back on the other side of the sky for our adventurous day. Do do do, ba do do do. There we go, darling. What are you doing, darling? Um, do you need some help? Can I? Can I? Okay. Excuse me, I've got a bit more work to do on these books. Uh, okay, if you're comfortable there. Do you want your hammock back? I could make you a new hammock. <gasps> I should make you a new hammock, darling. I need to make him a new hammock right out here. He would be so happy. He loves hammocks. So I'll make him a new hammock to put right up there. I should make him happy. All right. And let's go ahead and gear up so that we're ready to go. And let's go find ourselves a tiger. All right, Primrose, are you ready? All right, we're gonna get all of these things out of your little inventory really quickly. You are ready to light up the world. Look at you. And we'll leave your little hat on. And let me go ahead and put all these eggs away. Oh my goodness. When that dodo, um, the wonderful, by the way, Martha, fantastic, very kind and ethical dodo researcher shows up in Relic Ruins who loves dodos and would never mistreat a dodo, so don't you worry. I'm going to be so happy to have all these eggs. I can have a home to go to because, oh my gosh, so many eggs. All right, and let's head out. So let's go jump down and go say hi to Sunflower and head off on an adventure. I'm not really quite sure exactly where we're going to be headed. I'm guessing we'll go back south. Wait, what, what direction is that? West again, because we ran into so many jungles over there. Sunflower, good morning, darling. Good morning, Astro Seed. How are you? I hope you're doing well. You guys, would you mind if I had Nightlock maybe come and hang out with you? Because he's like, I think he's a little uh, castrophobic, catrophobic, ha 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 ha, uh, claustrophobic up in the um, up in the top of my house, so maybe he'll be happier if he comes out. But here we go! Alright, so we are off on an adventure. I'm going to show you guys what I did to the tiger exhibit really quickly. Ooh, Mushroom Island! We need to come visit you again, Mushroom Island. I totally forgot to visit you in the tour and I felt so silly. Alright, and let's go ahead. Oh, look at that bamboo! Sunflower, that bamboo has grown so much. I was thinking we also might poke around inside this forest just a little bit to see if there is any evidence. Good job, Sunflower. 
any evidence of a tiger over here. But here is our South Chinese tiger exhibit. Uh, it's already got a little mouse included in it somehow. Totally ready for a tiger to come and inhabit it. We're just kind of missing some of the philodendron, some of the tall grass at the background would be perfect. And someone mentioned that the May apple little plants from Twilight Forest. Oh my gosh, they would be perfect as little ground covery things in here. So we might have to go to Twilight Forest pretty soon in the future. That's right, Sunflower. Twilight Forest, you remember flying over there with me. But Twilight Forest so that we'll be able to gather up lots and lots of the little May apple, tiny little green plants to put in here because I think our tiger will love that. But yeah, you guys remember the heat rock we put down to gather the limestone to gather up the heat of the sun and make the tiger happy. The vines have grown over the den, so that has ended up going, like making a very nice, it's not very big, but you don't want a huge den, just a very comfy den, back here. And the new addition, a tire swing. So apparently there's actually a tire swing in DecoCraft. I didn't know it, so I made one out of the DaVincing mod. I made my own tire swing with rope and the, um, the, yeah, because if you look for tire, but if you look for swing, it's just like a little kid swing and a swinging sword block. So I don't know, maybe it's the newest update of DecoCraft has it. So I didn't find a tire swing in DecoCraft. So I just kind of made my own out of the DaVincing mod, which is amazing. So that is the toy that we have for our tiger to play with. So I'm pretty excited. All right, Sunflower, we need to start adventuring. Let's go up, 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 up. Gonna avoid these trees. And we're gonna try to find ourselves a tiger and maybe take a little bit of a peek Oh, it feels so good to be up in the sky again. Well, I would say take a peek at if any of the tigers that may be around here, but I can't see a thing. Oh, wow. It's just... Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's some wild horses. Okay, so there's definitely some wild horses here at least. It's just so crowded. There's so much plants and foliage everywhere. Oh, and look at the little portobellas. <gasps> I do love the portobellas. Oh, and there's more, more like deer. Oh, so the fungi forest seems to really support a lot of deer. Oh, there's some chanterelles. There's some cute little mushrooms over there, sunflower. You and I have been mushroom hunting together before. It is something we do on a regular basis. All right, so let's come down over here. So here's the edge. Let's see, sunflower, your head's in the way, darling. There's another wild horse. And then it looks like it kind of... Are those acacia saplings? Have they been that close to my house the whole time? Oh, I feel so silly. And I was all like, Iverson, where am I gonna get acacia saplings, Iverson? How am I gonna get any of those to give to you? And they're right here the whole time. Well, now I feel like such a silly goose. So that's a good thing. Are there any tigers here? I see a cobra. Let's keep ourselves up a little bit away from the cobra. But there are indeed some acacia saplings here. Ah, oh, where are we? Savannah Plateau. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. I can see us putting a bridge over here and having like the lions. Oh, this area lends itself to kind of being enclosed naturally with all of the, like imagine putting a wall right there, a wall right there, a wall right there. And like you can walk up along a balcony right up here, like a walkway that would look down over this whole area. And we could fill the area with lions and zebras and ostriches and elephants. You guys, we've found where we're going to put our savanna area. Oh, this is wonderful. I'm so excited. All right, let's come over here. Oh my gosh, those are beautiful oars. Oh, what are they? Sunflower, I, I've just got to get a couple of them. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's just, they're so pretty. They're so pretty. What are they? Jasper and carnal or or like what the heck carnelial carnel carnelian carnelian or oh so pretty oh and there's horses and mice i know darling all right so let's keep searching oh dear i need to put this feather away so i don't accidentally tickle tickle you with it <clears throat> but we are searching for a tiger so this is going to be a little bit interesting if we don't find one today i've heard that we need to put the call out to win because she might have tigers in her area. All right, there could be tigers and things like that in kind of the savanna -y zones. So I'm sort of, I see a lot of chickens. Oh my goodness, what are those, Sunflower? 
Oh wow, it's a panther! So it's a black panther, which is also known as a melanistic panther, and a grizzly bear, a small grizzly bear. There's another one over there. So there's definitely predators inhabiting this area. And this would be a scrubland biome, where we've got lots of little low-lying trees and plants, lots of grasses, lots of sheep sheep. Is that, is that a panther cub? Oh, it's a little panther cub. Oh, it's so cute. But we're going to leave it because it's with its mommy. And we don't need we don't need a panther cub at the moment. Oh, there's a male deer with a fawn. I haven't seen too many of the male deer recently. All right, so let's check this area out. This looks kind of promising too. This is a deciduous forest. So I see more things like the foxes. Let's see, there's a boar. Hmm... <sighs> Sorry about that. We had a little bit of a hiccup and I had to get away from whatever something something is over there. The dark forest, we need to kind of look into that and see what's going on over there. But there were no tigers, so no tigers that direction. And we had panthers and thankfully some other predators roaming around here. So we know that the predators are in the area. And then we've got this big giant empty desert. So we need to keep searching, Sunflower. But I remember we came down here last time. <gasps> you guys, look at the beautiful oasis. Oh my goodness. Oh, the storm. Oh, I still love this oasis. It's so pretty. All right, Sunflower, let's try to get through this. Oh, I'm sorry. I hate running us through the desert. I just feel like your feathers must get full of sand. Oh my goodness. All right, oh, it's another beautiful little oasis. Look at it, and a wasteland. That won't do. These wastelands are not any good. Okay, hang in there, Sunflower, sweetie. Let's keep flying. Oh, but here we go. <gasps> you guys, a bamboo forest. This is one of the places we were trying to look for. Let's see if we can find a tiger around here. Oh, and it's the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful eucalyptus rainforest. Oh, I love it, I love it. All right, Sunflower, we can rest over here. Here, let's, I'm gonna have you come down here. And I'm gonna guide you over to this little water spot. You don't have to go in it if you don't want to, but I just want you to know that there's water here. If you need to like get any of that sand out of your little feathers, I'm gonna take my hat off before all the sheep start crowding me. Hello, I know I was wearing a really cool hat, wasn't I? And then let's let Primrose come out and stretch your legs. There you go, Primrose, sweetie, what it is. I know, it's so pretty here. I hope you're going to enjoy exploring it with me. And we're going to look around and we'll kind of poke at that bamboo forest right there. And Primrose, darling, if you happen to see a tiger, yell really, really loudly for me because I don't want you to end up like getting hurt from the tiger, okay? All right, and let's see if I can... Ta-da! Now what mode are you in, my dear? You are in torture mode. All right, so she should be following me now. All right, oh, look at these little cone heads. Oh, I love them, they're just so preciously cute. Oh my gosh, and more of these guys. Oh, these flowers are just so pretty. I just can't get over how gorgeous they are. I love collecting them. <gasps> look at these. Oh, are these little bulrushes? It's been, oh, oh, it's a grave. Oh, what's going on over here? Marcus was squashed by a falling block. Okay, this is, this is a lesson looking out for falling blocks, Primrose. He was squashed by a falling block, had lived 56 days. Poor Marcus. Aw, that's so sad. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and club brush. I'm gonna put a couple back because I saw that it propagated on us. And, oh, it's an Enderman. What's an Enderman doing out in the day in the middle of a rainforest? Well, we won't look him in the eyes. It's very rude in Indonesia. I guess maybe that's what we'll call it, Primrose. Inderdees, Inderdees. Ooh, I definitely need more of these ferns, though. We're definitely very low on ferns. All right, come along, darling. We're going to be gathering up some honey splurges. And after I get a little bit of that, ooh, I love these pretty things. All right, got a little bit of the plant hunting fever out of my system. I see the wasteland in the distance. I see cows. There's definitely cows here. Oh, hi. Oh! Did you see that? <laughs> he like popped right next to me to see what I was holding and say hello. Ooh, that startled me, sweetie. All right, well, let's come down here. Ooh, more, more of the little bulrushes. Don't mind if I do. And we're gonna take these bamboo down so we can get some bamboo saplings of this type and these bamboo saplings can be a little bit there's one a little bit tricky to collect because you have to come over and you have to take out the bamboo but then you have to smack the little leaves once or twice primrose are you okay sweetie i need to get you some proper adventuring gear i know 
But yeah, once you smack the leaves, they'll start to deteriorate, and then you can come back later, and there should be, uh, like, some saplings hiding under them. So, let's see. Any, anything here? Nothing there. Now, I would argue that a bamboo forest is a good spot to go and look for some tigers in. So, what do you, what do you think, Primrose, sweetie? Alright, let's come this way. And, ooh, <gasps> And there's more ferns, kangaroo ferns. Yes, don't mind if I do. Yes, please, ferns, yes. Okay, come on, Primrose, sweetie. I know it's a little bit of a long haul, but that is what the job requires. Let's see. I see bunnies and pretty birds. Yeah, there's a little pretty bird down there. So there's bunnies and pretty birds and pigs. There's a lot of peaceful creatures here, Primrose, but I'm not seeing any tigers. So uh, maybe the Enderman was the only presence of something not 100% adorable and sweet uh, that I saw. Let's see, I'll get one of these scaly things. Ooh, there's some more maidenhair ferns. We need to get back over to Sunflower for a quick nap. Man, it just, it's day and night so quickly. I can't believe how quickly the days pass. Um, where's my little bed? There's my little bed. One, two, three, four. Hi, huh, Primrose. There we go, and we'll take a quick little nap. And then I guess we're going to search the bamboo forest a little bit for some tigers. I just feel like if we we're going to find tigers, a bamboo forest would be a good spot to go. All right, I'm going to put some of these away. And some of these away. I'm going to put the little bat away. All right. All right, Sunflower, are you good? You want to come with us? Okay, I'm going to put you in the safari nut. All right. Come along, Primrose. I think Sunflower's rested. I'm rested. And now we are headed into the depths of this beautiful bamboo forest. <gasps> Ooh, look at all the different kinds of bamboo. I guess while we're here, it makes sense to collect a few of them. The moso bamboo. Oh, more of the little... Oh, come here, come here, come here. I really want it. There we go. I wonder, is this dirt unique? Uh, where's bat pick? I need, I need to analyze a sample of this dirt primrose. It's very important for science because it seems that this bamboo is growing very well in it and sure enough it is unique it's called ponzel isn't that fascinating primrose i love that it's fascinating unique dirt who doesn't like having their day started by collecting unique dirt that you can't find anywhere else eh i know that that is just a wonderful way for me to start my day all right so let's see so far ooh, 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 ooh. kangaroo ferns kangaroo ferns so many <gasps> and there's some fallen leaves oh perfect leaf piles oh just perfect all right primrose all right good she's keeping up she's a hearty little adventurer she did sign up for this so ooh, ooh, is this a water garden i think this is a water garden can i ah, i destroyed it dang it do we get anything useful oh we got a snail we can feed that to our peafowl actually they do appreciate a good snail all right we'll put these away all right, no tigers yet. I should probably get back to actually focusing on looking for tigers. Primrose, darling, I'm not seeing any tigers. In fact, I'm not seeing much of anything inside of here. So, how you doing? Oh, she's doing good. She's like, I'm not going to be walking up on the dangerous edge. So, she's picked a much safer spot to wander. All right, what about down here? There's a lot of beautiful things down there. I see a boar. Well, where you might find some bigger prey items climb down these vines. Larger prey items might mean larger predators. So let's all climb on down here. Oh, it's a little bee. Hello, cute little bee. See? Prey item and predator. Hello, Primrose. What do you think? Oh, what do you think of the bee? Is he after you? Is he after the little the little plant on your head? Maybe. That would be adorable. All right. Oh, good. We need some of these philodendrians too. I just need to have like some gardeners move in that I can buy some of the philodendrians from. Don't get me wrong, I love collecting them for free from the wild, but I just don't want to deforest and like strip all the areas bare of their plants, and I worry that unchecked, I very well might do that. All right, there's a bunny. All right, Primrose, we might need to start searching from the air again. Is that the way home? I don't think that's the way home. Oh goodness, there's a giant dragonfly in my face. Hello, did you see that, Primrose? That was almost as interesting as that Enderman getting up in our face. Alright. Oh, is there a butter... There's a beautiful, beautiful butterfly. Oh, how fun. I haven't seen butterflies in quite a while. Alright, and a boar. So here's a boar. There's another boar. And no sight of any tigers. In any direction. Alright, Primrose. I think it's time. Alright. In you go. 
Oh, she's so cute. She got a little fern. That's adorable. All right, and sunflower, let's go. We're gonna head over here. Oh, I remember these floating islands. There were some tiny little mice on these floating islands. I thought it would be a little easier than this to find a tiger. All right, let's settle down over here. Lots of beautiful horses over here. You could probably outrace a horse, actually, Sunflower. I will admit you're very quick. She is very, very quick. Wow, look at that. There's just like herds of beautiful horses in the distance. Oh, I like it. And then, ooh, getting a little dizzy. Then behind us. So, wow, this is a fantastic place to come to gather up horses, that's for sure. Oh, and look at the view over here, though. Oh, the bamboo forest is just so pretty. It just doesn't have anything in it, so no such luck. No such luck over here with the tigers, huh, Sunflower? Sunflower, your head's in the way again. Your head is in the way again, darling. She's so pretty, but... Okay, uh, uh, Sunflower, turn this way. Okay, okay, okay. Sunflower, I don't think I can jump off you safely up here. So we're going to have to have a little bit of a mutual... I, I think I did it. <laughs> Oh, I got my mom's jeans in me. I love taking pictures of all the adventures we go on. All right, we still have a little while to keep searching, Sunflower. All right, so there's a grizzly bear. So that bodes well for there being more predators over here. I really didn't take into account the fact that it might be a little bit hard to find a tiger. I'm just so used to- Oh, did you see all those pigs? It's a pig cliff rush. They're just all shoving each other off that cliff. That's amazing. Let's see, there's a cat. Oh wow, there's a wild like sand cat. Interesting. And it's actually over here with the sand. That is so cool. I kind of want to catch it now. Hello! Hello, are you a little wild sand kitty cat? Can I catch you inside of my little safari net? Okay. Oh, I better. Because he got right in the quicksand. I'm going to say that this is a sand cat, you guys. Which is a pretty uncommon type of cat that you can actually find in um, Africa, I believe. And we'll, we'll go ahead and you are now a sand cat. Congratulations, Mr. Sand Cat. We will give you a proper place to have a good exhibit in the future. And Sunflower, hang on, my darling. I, I do believe... Ooh, there's some plants over here. Oh, I just... Oh, why do you have to be right here, plants? How, you know I can't... Oh, and this one's all red. Barberry. Okay. Okay, I'm trying sunflower. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's very distracting here. I'm gonna grab you some geisha greens So that they are available. Should you need them? Are you hungry? No, okay. Well, they're there if you need them, okay? And I'm gonna try very carefully To climb down here Okay, don't mind me <gasps> What are you? You're new This is oh, it's a yuzu sapling a wild yuzu sapling. Well, that's exciting All right got that gonna have to Pardon me, tree. Sorry about that. Gonna have to climb up here. Alright, sunflower. The hunt for the tiger continues. So, lots and lots of horses, ostriches. Is that a wild maid? Primrose, I found like a cousin of yours. That's kind of adorable. I did find a cousin. Well, okay, come with us. Alright, I wasn't expecting that, but I guess there's other people who could use a little maid, or Primrose could have, like, a sister. I'm actually really happy about that. We found Primrose a sister. Well, that makes me super duper happy. Super duper happy. Oh my goodness. Even if we didn't find, like, the tiger we're looking for. We're gonna keep looking, though. There's another sand cat. Okay, I wanna get the second sand cat. It's, like, in the same place, same color. I'm calling you a sand cat, sir. All right, come here. No, no, come back, come back, come back, come back. Eh, eh, there, got it. All right, now we have two sand cats. And like I said, we will discuss the sand cat in the future. It's a very fascinating species. We've actually gone in depth, Sunflower, studying it previously. So, oh, actually, I'm really hungry. Hang on, Sunflower. Well, really hungry is an exaggeration. Um, let's have some strawberry juice. And if I'm still hungry, a cookie. So there we go. Really hungry, maybe an exaggeration, but at the same time- Ouch! Oh, that was one of Ben's cookies. Or something. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have eaten that cookie. Oh, this is horrible. Sunflower, I don't think I'm a designated driver at the moment. I'm gonna lay down, you guys. Oh, don't worry about me, Mr. Chicken. I'll be back in, in a little bit when the nausea settles down. 
Ooh, oh my goodness. And that is why you should never accept cookies from strangers or even friends who really like to pull your leg sometimes. Oh my gosh, I'm so dizzy still, man. All right, well, let's go ahead. Where's my bed? I'm going to put my bed down. Uh, I'm kind of glad it's almost night because it means I can get a little bit of sleep after all of that chaos. Phew. But in the morning, hello chicken. Oh, that's kind of so fun to see the little chicken head poking up out of the grass like that. Oh, that was so fun. But in the morning, which is now, so yeah, good morning, Sunflower. We are going to head off again, and we are going to see if we can have some better luck. I'm going to put Primrose and her sister, I guess, away. Sister, cousin, we'll figure it out. Away for now. Ooh, ooh, ooh these are pretty. Hang on, Sunflower. I know I said that we would keep moving because we're looking for tigers. But come on, these are these are gorgeous. How could I pass these up? And we might have a savanna area soon, Sunflower. She's she's just she's used to it. <laughs> All right, so we're still on the hunt, looking around for tigers. Oh goodness! And that was a wild boar attempting to attack us. It's a good thing we can fly away. Very useful. Oh, are you kidding me? Dang it, Sandcat! I'm gonna have to let you go if I find tigers. You know that, right? You know that, right? Okay, in in the thing, in the thing. Oh. And the thing. All right, there's zebras actually. I feel like that's a little bit of progress. There's zebras, there's deer and pigs. Gotta put our binoculars on and look far into the distance. And I guess while we're here, we might as well get some of the um, acacia saplings that we need to trade the Iverson, but goodness. You know, oh, hello, Mr. Mole. You know, I really do feel so silly, Sunflower, because like I said, I honestly didn't think that it would be so difficult to find a tiger. And in retrospect, of course it would be hard to find a tiger. You just get, walk out your front door and go find a tiger. I'm just so used to being able to do that. Whoa, Sunflower. Look at this slime island. What a nice looking slime island. Oh, it even had a little slime on it. Maybe we'll come back and get one of these trees later. For now, we've got a really great bird's eye view of the entire savanna, which is so helpful. And let's see if we can find ourselves a tiger. I see lots of cows. More wild maids, are you kidding me? I guess they're local to the area. I'm sure they'll be okay. We're gonna keep an eye on that fire. Oh dear. Oh dear. Sunflower. Oh dear. Oh my. Oh, and there's ants involved too. There you go, there you go. All right, you guys okay? Okay, I think they're okay. All right, so we're still exploring. There's a jungle area over here though. Maybe that bodes a little bit better. Let's come over here to this jungle area. Oh wow, there's some Yutsu plants under us. Wow. All right, now here's a thick, dense jungle. You think if there were gonna be any, any tigers to show up, it would be here. And there's the beautiful mahogany trees again, which I really love. Um, oh, what does it open up to? Oh, wow, what is this? Oh, it's the Outback. Well, let's check back over here. Was that a tiger roar? No, I'm, now I'm just hearing things that I really want to desperately hear. Oh my goodness. Um, Sunflower, I guess I'm gonna have to get down on the ground. Watch out for quicksand, my love. And search around a little bit. You guys see anything? Ah. Oh. I feel so silly, Sunflower. I really do. I really didn't think, oh, it'll be hard to find a tiger. I was thinking, oh, we'll be fine. We'll just, you know, go out jungle, jungle plus tiger plus duck. Ugh. But actually, this is proving to be a lot harder than I thought it would be. All right, there's quicksand. Sunflower, stay there for just a second. I'm just kind of, ooh, philodendron. Well, I do need those. All right, you got to look at the positives. Positive side is that we're finding lots and lots of plants that we could use. Even the leaf litter is valuable in, I really, I just need to like find a gardener that I could work with and buy it from, but still, even the leaf litter is valuable. Primrose managed to like get a sister, so now I definitely need a new branch to my tree house. Um, let's see, Ooh, there's some more philodendrons, don't mind if I do. Uh, there's lots of, we have sand cats, which is gonna be so exciting. You guys are just gonna be like beyond thrilled. Ooh, there's some cocoa beans. I guess I could get some wild cocoa beans and we could start like our own little, we could start our own little cocoa farm back at the house. That's something we've been thinking about doing because we've just been having to take from Mara's little cocoa area for so long. Uh, cocoa beans, there we go. So yeah, I mean, we're up a whole bunch of plants. We're up sand cats, which is not something I even planned to have a future exhibit for. So that's a positive thing. All right, let's go ahead. 
Oh! Oh, hang on! Oh my goodness! Oh! Oh, kitty! Oh, we didn't save it in time. I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! Oh, that quicksand. That is one of the horrible cycles of life, you guys, is when that quicksand really comes in and gets in the way. Oh. Now, was that one jungle sapling? Oh, dear, that poor cat. Oh, evil quicksand! All right, well, we'll have to go back and get sunflower, I guess. Um, because we're not really finding any wild, like, tigers down here. I will admit, I'm not finding many tigers. There's some bunnies. What is that? Oh, it's a little boar. I am 99% sure that's a boar. Um, there's another jungle over there. I really didn't think it was going to be this hard to find tigers. We're going to have to go home soon. Without tigers! What, what, are, what are my, like, villagers going to think of that? There's lots of wild cats here, too, which is pretty darn cool. What are my villagers going to think of that? Ah, what kind of... Well, I guess, I guess that's just part of the expeditions, you know? I shouldn't say, what kind of zookeeper can't even find a tiger in the wild? Because, really, I, I guess that would be kind of a hard thing to do to find a tiger in the wild. All right, I'm just going to let Sand Cat Kitty. Dang it, now I've got... Yeah, I'm going to have to let Sand Cat Kitty go if we need to. Because I have no reusable safari nuts, and I, well, I have one left, and I guess I could fly Sunflower back. That's right. That's how I get home. Of course I would fly Sunflower back. All right, Sunflower. Oop. Mom is distracted, as usual, by all of the beautiful appetites that are clinging to the sides of these trees. Ooh, and there's some more cocoa beans, but we don't need cocoa beans, Sunflower, and we don't need more appetites. What we actually need, my dear, is to head out, and we're going to keep looking for the tigers. So we've got a little bit longer on our expedition Ugh. And I mean, we do, we're, we are pretty well supplied, actually, Sunflower. We do have a lot of food. Um, ooh, thank you, little conehead. Thank you, Sunflower. All right, let's go, you guys. We're going to keep looking. We have found at least some big cats on this expedition. We found the panthers. And we did stumble across. Ooh, ooh, Sunflower. Sunflower, I want it. Sunflower, it's so pretty. Sunflower, did we get it? Sunflower, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh, catalyze. Yes. Oh, she's excited, too. I know, you're, you are such a good, such a good big bird. Um, let's see, baby goats. We did find those panthers, and we did come across the sand cats. Wow, look at all the elephants. This is amazing. Who knows what kind of new territory we're moving into. Wow. What's over there? It's a turkey. Hmm. Hmm. More elephant. All right, what about this direction? I might have to put out the call. This is interesting. Well, worst thing that could happen is- <gasps> We find a tiger! Yes! Hello! You're ready to come with us! How are you? Yes! I am so excited to see you! You have the amazing timing! Oh yeah, we're all excited. Woohoo! Yes, come with us, our new South Chinese tiger, you guys. Well, this is fantastic. We are going to be escorting you, my endangered precious child. Come here. We're going to be taking this tiger back with us. Talk about amazing timing. Woohoo! Yay, we did it, Sunflower. We did it. We found the South Chinese tiger. Ah, and we stayed optimistic most of the time. If you ask me, and like I said, now we're we're still happy because we went on an adventure and we found quite a few other things. There's a grizzly bear again. It's a boy to grizzly bear. But that is just, oh, yes. So very happy because we found a new addition. There's so many cats out here. It's kind of amazing. We did find a brand new addition to our home. Oh, my gosh. There's that cat again. It's just, I, I oh, okay. Sunflower, one second, darling. Elliot blew up. Had lived 15 days. Rest in peace, Elliot. But yeah, all right. I'm going to go ahead and gather up some of these. This is such a good day. And we're just about ready to head back home. So our tiger has been achieved. We have the deer already. So we don't need to worry about going around hunting for deer. Because Mara has so generously provided so, so, so many deer to us. We have horses. And horses are very easy to find. Um, we're going to be breeding those horses in the future too. Which I know you guys are so excited about. I'm excited about it too. It's going to be exciting. Oh, my sunflower is excited about breeding all the horses too. 
Oh, it's gonna be fun. She likes other things that she can race. I think you can even, yeah, you can read the ostriches even and have like a rare mythic kind of ostrich. Goodness, are you okay? Oh, the bunny's okay. He just got kind of poisoned because of the oil. Um, whew, wow. Well, that was really cool. There's more cats. I'm really excited we found like a whole family of sand cats too. That was completely unexpected and that'll be really fun for, oh my gosh. <gasps> Just to make this day even better. Oh my goodness, and they live like at the edge of the jungle, so they have this dust. A village! My favorite! I love my little villagers! Why do they always have the big scary giant holes in the ground? Let's hurry and fill that in so that we don't have any like mobs trying to come up and no one's going down there and like getting hurt. I like, 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 acacia wood planks. Hurry up here. Goodness gracious. Alright, oh, that's not where I want it. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead put a little dirt down. We're gonna fill this in so that nobody gets hurt. I can't help it. My natural inclination is always to like protect the villagers. Oh, and it's almost night, so we can get Primrose out. Primrose, darling! Good news about a little sister for you, which means you're on like home. If you could start putting the torches down, that would be amazing. And I will put my little bed down in just a moment. So we've got somewhere to sleep. All right, and then make sure that it's not gonna be too dark. Primer Sweet, are you putting the torches down? Oh, there we go. She is putting those torches down. Fantastic. Ah, oh, what better way to end a big expedition adventure than with a visiting a village? I really don't know what the, the better solution could be there. Thank you so much, sweetie. Let's go see what kind of villagers live here and see what they trade, maybe. Oh my, they have a graveyard full of bunnies. Oh, and they grow mushrooms. <gasps> They're villagers after my own heart. Oh, and they have they have these kinds of um, lettuce seeds. Oh, I wonder if they would mind if I borrowed some because these lettuces, lettuce eye, <laughs> are very uncommon around our home. So there we go. And yeah, they've got a little graveyard and it's absolutely well, Flynn hit the ground too hard, had lived 24 days. Billy walked into a cactus whilst trying to escape a skeleton horse, had lived 43 days. Well, I kind of like the way that they mix um, their mourning over the past with the bright happiness of the future with all these bunnies. That's actually really, really cool to me. All right, Sunflower, hang on just a second, darling. Oh, there's a villager. Hello. Hello, sir. You're a tinker, huh? Copper oreberry bushes. That's awesome. I would love to learn more about your village and your people. Um, I'm very pro-villager. I speak villagese fluently. May I come in, please? Okay, yeah, I can come in. Alright, didn't shut the door in my face. Alright, we've got lots of different stone tool pieces. Okay, okay, okay. Can I come on up? Anybody? Nope, nothing up here. Alright. Come in this way. Let's see if we can find... Ooh, ooh, more pieces. Okay, oh, hello, sir! It's you again! Are you the only one here? I really like this village. Ooh, I really like this plant. What the heck? Kangaroo paw. I think that's like the first time I've seen a kangaroo paw. That's pretty exciting. Oh, hello. Hello. That's where everybody is. Primrose. Oh, there she is. She's following. So there are villagers um, locked. Oh, oh, I just found a, a stray set of kangaroo paws just on the ground there. Are they trapped inside? Uh, as villagers sometimes are wont to do. I do believe this librarian happens to be... Trapped inside without a door. Oh, there's the door. <laughs> Alrighty, no problem. We'll help out. Let's see. There we go. Alright. There we go. Why, hello! How are you? Bookshelves! Not a bad trade, my friend. Not a bad trade at all. Very nice to meet you. I will probably be stopping by more often. Um, may, may I get around you, please? Okay, there we go. There we go. Alright. So there's like maybe two villagers here. Well, it looks like some tragedy, maybe involving bunnies, uh, has occurred in this village, but I'm so excited to find it. It's just like this little tiny, like, desert river village. It's on the edge. We found- ooh, what the heck is going on over here? Uh, careful, Primrose! Okay. Oh, it's just a hole in the ground. A very weird- is that like a dungeon? Under here? Is that what's going on? Oh, and there's a cat! My gosh, there's so many cats. Is this like, is this supposed to be a dungeon or a house? Interesting. Interesting. Well, and there's a few snakes. These are harmless speckled snakes though. Oh, and there's another grave over here. Lex was doomed to fall by zombie dog. Had lived 62 days. Well, all right. 
All right, I would say we have, ooh, and there's some of, oh, what's this kind of corn? Oh, I wonder if they would mind. Oh, pardon me, pardon me. Oh, bell peppers, actually. These are bell peppers, not corn. All right, I'm just gonna casually, like, put those away. There we go. All right, Primrose, I think, pardon me, darling, time to put you back inside of here. I think it is ready, time to go home. So, we've managed to find our tiger, we've managed to find sand cats, we've managed to find Primrose, a new sister. We've managed to find a new little village, which actually I need to name. We already have Hearthstone Village, but I kind of like this one. There's something kind of itty-bitty charming about it. So, let's go ahead, add a waypoint. Um, really, it's kind of like a... Definitely a deserty village. I guess, I guess, uh... Well, and it's kind of a savanna. Um... Savannah Point? We'll just call it that for now. Alright, so that's where this is. And where is it in relation to home? So where is home? Let's see. Doop. Home is that way. Oh, not too bad. Only about a thousand something blocks. So we're really not that far from home. Well, alright guys. Well, that was a very successful adventure. Plenty of animals. Plenty of plants. Uh, we did manage to get some cocoa beans and some acacia saplings. We managed to get another little maid, which is very exciting. Another snail that we can feed to our pea fowl. Uh, a raw, like raw, a wild yutsu sapling. So all in all, I'm, I'm pretty darn happy about all that. All right, well, I'm gonna hop on sunflower and we're gonna head home. We have our tiger. Oh, hang on a second. Oh my, what's going on here? What is this? Hello? Scotty drowned whilst trying to escape spider. Wow. I think this village has a lot of history. We'll have to come back one day and, and figure out just what hidden stories they have to tell. So, huh. But alright. Well, it's time to head home. And there's this tiny itty bitty little patch of... Uh, I think this is actually Twilight Forest. There's a tiny Twilight Forest patch in the middle of nowhere here. And I will see you guys when we get back home across the... Oh my gosh, there's like a villager grave here too. Across... Oh, oh, and I hear a zombie. Hello? Keely starved to death. Right on the edge where zombies were like pursuing. Mysteries upon mysteries. I love adventure. I love the adventure. But alright guys, I'll see you next time. We are going to be returning our South Chinese tiger to its very happy, wonderful new home. It's too bad we didn't find more of them, but at least we have a new addition to our beautiful zoo. Oh my goodness, and this is this is a different kind of biome. Azeric Shrubland, wow! And we definitely found a lot of interesting new places. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye